I was born in Gulu. Gulu is in northern Uganda. Um, I was born in a family of four. Unfortunately, my parents passed on when I was six years old. So I grew up with my grandma and granddad and my aunt. Uh, growing home was really hard for me because um, northern Uganda, if you're acquainted with the history of Uganda, northern Uganda has been in the forefront of the 25-year war between the LRA and the Uganda government. My parents died during the war uh, in an ambush. It was very hard for me and it affected me for a very long time. My wife is from here, as she's from Ireland. The family is from Kilkil. She was working over in uh, Uganda with a non-government organization. Uh, that's how we met. Uh, we met during a rugby game. Two years after I met her, we relocated to Nairobi, Kenya. So in Nairobi, Kenya, that's where we got married. Um, two years later, she got a job in Belfast and we decided to move. Um, that's the reason why I'm here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was really a bold decision I had to make. Because, um, you know, having to leave your family members. Um, back home, uh, I was running a business and I was working for the Uganda Rugby Union. I played for my home club. Uh, I coached my home club. I played for Uganda under 23. But I was on and off due to injuries. I had nasty injuries back then. And uh, I had a dream to play for the national team. But that dream was not realized. So Liam was born in Nairobi, Kenya. I think he has settled in well. Um, you know, being a kid, you can't really tell. I normally take him to the toddler groups around here. There are two toddler groups in town. So I normally take him to St. Peter's GAA and the uh, Presbyterian Church down the road. Once in a while I talk to him in my native language. Yeah, my native tongue in Uganda is the Bigaluo native language. So it's called the Choli. I come from the Choli tribe. I want him to know my other part of the story as well. I have a very good support from my in-laws that really, you know, kept me going here, you know, being a very different place from home so yeah I would say very good impressions and the people in this town they're very lovely in any case I've experienced love from the people around here because every time you move around people say hi and you know uh, it's a great thing family back home already missing us um, more especially missing Liam because you know Liam was born then we decided to move they have not spent so much time with him um, and they really wanted to spend more time with him as he grows up. But yeah, um, uh, it will be just a matter of time before we start moving back and forth with him to visit his other part of the family. Ooh, nothing compared to Mombasa Beach because it's white sand. It's a white sand beach, and uh, yeah, I've, 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 there's a beach in the, um, I've been to Newcastle. Uh, there's a beach over in Newcastle, I kind of like it, but not the one in Warren Point. <laughs> no. <laughs> I have loads of future plans here at the moment. You know, it's a new start. I'm getting to know people. I'm getting to know the do's and don'ts. I'm getting to know my way through work. Um, at the moment, I did the security course. Uh, as a doorman, uh, of which I'm looking for something to do. Uh, but my job at the moment is with a young man, I'm a full-time dad, because the mom travels a lot with her work. As part of my qualification, I did computer science. That's my first degree. I did graphics and animations. I'm a big fan of computer modeling, um, mainly with uh, uh, Autodesk, uh, Maya and uh, 3D Max. I love it here. I miss home, yeah, that's the fact, but uh, I love it here being around my lovely child, being around my wife, uh, being around people who love me, um, that makes me feel at home.